What's happening with your baby? It's Virus the Barber, man. What's going on with you? All right, look, man. So maybe you just got out of barber school, or maybe you hate the shop where you at, or maybe you moved to a new neighborhood, man, or maybe you're just starting all over again. I don't know what the situation is, but whatever the situation is that you're in, you need a new barbershop to work at, right? And you don't have enough money right now on you to, to buy a shop, right? So what you're going to do is this. You're going to take your time, and You're going to calm the fuck down. You're going to chill. You, I need you to write down your assets. I'm talking about your assets. I'm not talking about your real estate or your stocks or your crypto or your gold. And your, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about your assets in a barber game. What can you bring to the table? Why would somebody want to hire you? Why would somebody want to bring you when they shop? Why do they need you? Why do they need you in their game? Why do they why do they need you stinking up their chair? Why do they need to bring in your bullshit? I mean, because you got bullshit with you, right? I mean, look, you're not perfect. I mean, look, what you got kids, you got a girl, you might smoke marijuana all the time, you might get it in. Uh, you probably don't take no shit, because you know you gotta work with a motherfucker, man. You got you know what I mean, you gotta take some shit, man. You know what I mean? Uh, you might not like cutting kids. You know what I mean? Or you might be a fucking hustler, man, on a grind, determined to win. I mean, you might be that you might be that number one barber in your city, but you just got bad money problems. You you fucking crazy. You're not good with your money, right? And 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 that's okay. I'm shit, just like that. I'm just like that too, man. Spending money, grabbing it. You know, bunch of kids. I like having new shit. You know what I mean, look, I understand that, man. But you really don't have a, a spending problem. You know what I mean? And I learned this from my Uncle Chi. You have an income problem, man. If you're broke all the time, it's just an income problem. No, no. If if you got a lot of money, right? If you got a crazy income coming in, no amount of money that you can spend can hurt you. you know what I mean? So if you got a thousand dollars a day coming in, if you spend a thousand dollars a week on bullshit, you eat out every day. You know what I mean, you grabbing a pair of sneakers every week, grabbing new jeans every week, and you got a couple girlfriends, right? You getting a stack of day, you making seven jeans a week. Dude, you I mean you can waste that, man, but it's it's gonna be pretty hard. You know what I mean? It's gonna be pretty difficult for you to do that, right? So look, let's get out of that mode. Let's get back on how can you get a job? How can you find a shop? Number one, of course, go to Craigslist, right? Type in barber, right? Barbershop, barber. That's cool. You, you'll find a whole bunch of barber shops looking for barbers. I mean, help one it. Do you have your license though? Because they they're gonna want licensed barbers. You know what I mean, they're not really gonna fuck with you if you don't got your license, right? So you gotta get licensed. Now I don't know how you're gonna get licensed. Maybe you gotta go to school. Um, I can't give you no advice on that. I never went to school. I do have my license. I got my master barber license or manager license, depending on where you come from or where you at. Um, I, I have a license and I can go to any shop I want. All I got to do is whip out that license, let them know I'm that dude and I can cut any type of hair. Can you cut any type of hair? What type of hair are you used to cutting? Are you a black barber? Most black barbers, and I'm not knocking them, right? Most black barbers only can cut black people. It's fucking simple, right? A barber in the middle, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here in the city. Philly is the closest city where I'm at. And most barbers in Philly, they cannot come to the county and cut hair. They can't. And they limited down in a city to only cut black people. Most white barbers, you white boys, right? Not knocking y'all. But most can't cut anything else but white people, right? So you, you got to find out where you fit in it. You know what I mean, get in where you at. Um, if a white barbershop is hiring and you black and you don't know how to cut white people, do not go up there, dog. You're going to make a fool of yourself and vice versa. But if you're versatile, it's a good chance. Or if you want to get versatile, if you're still brand new in the game, go to a mixed shop. I'm going to go to a Spanish shop. Right, you'll you'll pick up another language too while you're there. Go to a Spanish shop, cause then you'll cut a mixture of Spanish people, white people, black people, and preferably in the county or in a nicer neighborhood, not necessarily in the hood. Um, if you go in the hood, you gotta do a hood shit. 
right? If you go in a county, you gotta do a county shit. It's no difference. It's whatever you can handle. You know what I mean? Um, I preferably like I like the middle. You know what I mean? Like downtown area is good. Uh, gentrification neighborhoods is good, right? Suburbs is cool. They might pay a little bit more. Gentrified areas pay a little bit more. The hood, they couple people pay. I mean, but you're going to get that volume. You're going to get a lot of people. So you're going to be cutting a lot of motherfuckers, man. A, a, a lot of hustlers. You're going to be cutting a lot of kids, right? And uh, so, I mean, that's saying it's, it's basically the same thing everywhere. I mean, you can get it in everywhere, right? But uh, check your assets, what you bring to the table. Check your skills. Are you versatile or not? All right. If you can't find those shops on Craigslist, what you got to do is just you got to get in your car or the bus or whatever you got to do. Ride your bike, take a walk, and Dude, go to the city is barbershops on every corner. Barbershops on every corner. Most shops will have a barber wanted sign on their corner. Licensed barber needed. Barber wanted. Now look, don't go. Now listen, go to every shop, but don't make an agreement with the first shop you go to. I mean, it looks nice. The chairs are beautiful. They might got a girl with a fat butt working there, or or, or the commission structure is, is, is perfect. Booth rent or chair rent, right? You gotta figure that out. But if if you, it, whatever you wanna do with that, uh, booth rent. Hold on, let's talk about booth rent real quick. While I was on my mind, booth rent versus chair rent, dude. Booth rent is for the barber who knows what the fuck he's doing and that can build his clientele, and you know you can grind, right? You you you, you know you can grind if the shop is busy enough for you. The shop ain't even got to be, I mean, brand new, you kind of want the flow, but I'm a proponent of, dude, don't worry about if the fucking shop is busy. Look around the neighborhood. What's in the neighborhood? Is it a Starbucks in the neighborhood? A Dunkin' Donuts in the neighborhood? Is it a coffee shop? Is it a cigar shop? Like, what's around, what's, what's around the area? Are people eating? Is there a parking lot? Is there a mall? Like, is there a store? Is there people around the fucking shop? Because if there's people around the shop, especially if it's foot traffic, don't give a fuck if the shop is busy or not. I'm going to grind and I'm going to get people into that shop. I'm going to get people into my fucking chair. I don't give a fuck if the shop is rocking or if it's slow as shit. They're only getting three walk-ins a week. I'm going to get mine. All right? And I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to show you how you can build, how you can grow, how you can market, right? Because this game, right, is, is, is way more to it than cutting hair. Cutting hair is only this much. Right of the game, the game is huge. It's, it's, it's ginormous, but cutting hair is only five percent of the game. Right, it's only five percent of the game. I don't give a fuck where you at. Right, reason why I don't want to teach you how to do haircut tutorials on this channel is because barbers in Atlanta cut different from barbers in LA. Alabama barbers cut different from barbers in Alaska, and barbers in the UK cut way different from barbers in Philly. Right, they got different tools, different techniques, different hairstyles. Yes, it's all universal. You can learn that shit. And plus, it's a million other YouTube videos you can watch from that. I'm going to show you how to increase your barber game. I'm going to step your fucking barber game up. You understand me? So listen, what we're talking about? Booth rent. Get that fucking money, man. Booth rent, right? Percentage. Uh, percentage is good for the owner. Percentage is only good for the owner. Unless you don't know what the fuck you're doing in and you don't know how to build your clientele and i'm, I'm gonna help you out with that but percentages are, are good for the owner booth rent good for the barbers because all you got to do is come up with that booth rent rather if it's 125 250 300 400 whatever it is a week you come up with that booth rent you grind you can make your booth rent in one day right and it and, and if you're shot if, if it allows you to sell products uh uh you can earn a commission on that right so that's the extra flow of income. Now, I, I I don't want you getting too caught up in extra flows yet, and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna explain the difference to you later on what the difference between a flow and a stream is, right? But uh, figure that out. All right, what are we talking about? Boo friend. So look, find out how much. Find out what you pay, right? Find out. Interview the bar. Interview the owner. Talk to the other barbers in the shop. Don't and don't ask the question if it's busy. Don't do that shit, man. Because as an owner, you just... You are looking like a freeloader to me. If, oh, is it busy? I'm going to just come here and cut here. What are you bringing to the table, man? 
What are you bringing? What are you bringing to the table rather than just your skills? Because they can pull barbers from anywhere. Any barber can come in the shot. Or they can just not hire barbers at all. They can shut down. They can do whatever they want. But what, what, why are you, just, you, you, are you are you just coming to cut hair? Or are you bringing something a little bit extra to the table? Maybe you need to write down a proposal or write down something. You don't got to do a resume. But look, man, this, this is what I can bring to the table. Right? I do this. I do that. I'm, I'm bilingual. I got my own that. I, I, I know how to do this. I know how to do that. I mean, I'm, I'm good at Facebook marketing. I'm good at YouTube. I'm, I'm good at Google. Yeah, I mean, um, um, this is what I can do, man. I, I can help you increase your clientele. Um, I, 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 whatever you, I don't know your skill. Whatever you know how to do, the barbershop owner is looking for somebody to take over that shop. He's looking for, he's looking for a hustler, man. Right. So listen. So so don't make an agreement. Don't make an, don't make a commitment with the first barbershop you go to. Don't get locked down on one. Go to ten different shops. Now, I know you want to make money right away. I know. Drive Uber for a little bit, man. Y'all I mean you don't gotta cut right away. Take some time out, rethink your strategy, take a deep breath. Right? Go to different neighborhoods. Go to go to the bad part of the neighborhood. Go to the nice part of the neighborhood. Go to the white people side. Go to the black people side. Go to the poppy side. Go to the Russians. Right? Go around, narrow it down because thus you got options and then you won't burn your bridges. And be straight up, but look, I'm looking for a shop to work at. I'm looking for a nice shop, man. Ooh, I'm, I mean, I'm looking for a nice shop, good area. They're gonna ask you why you left your other shop, why you leaving. Tell them the truth. If you and your, if you and your owner don't get along, but like, look, man, we don't get along. But never, ever, ever, ever talk bad about the shop where you came from. All right, never talk bad about it. Just you know, we didn't see eye to eye. Cool peoples, you know, love them. Da 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 da. But you know, it just wasn't my vibe. You know what I mean? And then skate off like that. And then start talking about what you can bring to the table and what they can offer you and, and see if it's a good fit. Because listen, man, you are providing your services over there. You can go anywhere, especially if you got that L, you can go anywhere, right? And then you can stack up your bread and then you can and, you, and then you can open up your own shop. But when you do get in that shop, I don't want you being in that motherfucking shop forever, man. Right? I need you to stack your bread. Stack your bread, fix your credit. Get your LLCs correct. Get your bank accounts going on. Make a plan. Build your clientele while you're in there. You don't got to let nobody else know. But listen, build your clientele. And then I need you to get your own shop. Right? I need you to get into your own shop. I need you to buy the building. Right? Yes, renting is okay. You can rent the building. But listen, man, we need to do this real estate thing inside of the barber game. Buy the motherfucking building and have the barbers in your shop pay your mortgage. You understand? It's the same thing as owning apartments. Buy the building, put barbers in there. They're going to pay your mortgage, and we're going to discuss that later. It's a crazy strategy. Barbers don't talk about it. The game, that's, that's why I'm just telling you, man, there's so much to this fucking game, man. It's crazy. There's so much to this game, man. It's crazy. It's way more to this game than just fucking haircuts, shape ups, and babblers and masters. Way more to this shit, man, than fucking fades. All right? Anyway, look, man, I'm out of here, man. I got to go. I'm going to let you go. Listen, man, if you got any questions, man, hit me up. Hit my jack. Catch me on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn, man. You know why, man. Yo, my name is Ryan the Barber, and I see you at the fucking top, baby. Stay focused.